the one I use. And the reason for that is um, I wouldn't really cry if I didn't have everything I needed. So. I'm going to break most of the things. That's okay. Now that is my primary ship. Over there is my living one. Still think it looks like a Pokemon, but uh, yeah. Please don't throw balls at it at least. So, I will go to the space station where I was and uh, then start prepping the rest of the things because one of the preps is actually taking a lot of stuff off my exosuit so I don't break it. Certain things I can't take off, but uh, everything else I will deposit in my bag while I do it. actually want to do much with. So this is the one I used to travel with, or one of them. And here I am a little bit stupid here. I forgot to put all these things on the crater. Which is uh, a little bit stupid because I need that space. this to protect as much as I can so I won't be um, in the situation where I have to repair it. Repairs is quite pricey so just saying.
So this is how it looks like when you remove everything which you have put on your um, exosuit over many hundred hours and uh, it ends up looking like this. I am as naked as I can possibly be for the time being. So, everything should be fine. So, here we go. Goodbye, Eisentam, and uh, then it will be welcome something. I do not know where I'm going. I think this part is uh, very beautiful and uh, actually give a illusion that you are traveling immensely long. I know it's not the case, but uh, still. So now I come through the center of the galaxy and all I will have to repair is my ship, which is quite minimalistic. Uh, I could have taken certain things off, however, I need to make sure it can jump uh, the distance which is the last leg to the center um, but it's one I don't have to keep uh, well unfortunately it's the ship I always get when I have scrapped ship so um, I do have to repair it and I will it, it's not a big deal it's a small price. So, El Cupalos, that sounds Greek, doesn't it? I have to write that down. El Cupalos. And I have to change that on all my <laughs> my schedules because I actually write where I am. So, El Cupalos. So goodbye Eisentam and welcome El Cupalos. So, I am a place where it's very hot so uh, I have to do a couple of things uh, to make sure I survive. And, uh, that is unfortunately going to take a little bit of time, but not overly much. So, uh, Sentinels. First of all, I make a hole in the ground because that protects me. There. I have now shifted to my normal multi-tool, so everything... I should actually have made sure that the things are filled up before I jump. That's a little bit of an oversight from my side, but... Well, not the worst thing I could have done. So. Now, nothing has been damaged, so I can actually start putting my things back. Uh, that is the good thing with this. So, that is, uh, that is quite nice.
question is, is it better to have that there or that? as well that's my hazard protection and that is actually a good thing to have supercharged because that gives uh, a lot of bonuses so next to each other which is uh, related you get bonuses so it would actually be so it gets bonus from the other one but not for that one okay that is uh, Kind of nice to know. So these I will put over here because they are not only important and they don't give any bonuses as such. So Jumping equipment. And now we come to these. I tend to put them next to each other. Um, that makes it a little bit easier to keep an eye if you are running out of your shielding. I am wasting a supercharge on one of them. or not that's a little bit one of those uh, you might tell me that uh, I'm doing it wrong I am these don't give any bonuses except with each other other things but uh, they will not enough don't give bonus with them so now I have put everything on my extra suit it's hot here so uh, let's uh, fill that up You notice everything is empty when it's been so I'm actually filling it all kind of just in case because I know with myself I come out on this planet it's hot uh, I keep that uh, topped up and everything is fine there's no problems 
Then I start uh, traveling and uh, I end up on another planet and uh, oh, everything is in the zero. So yeah, people on YouTube making uh, videos saying that pursuing uh, monetary gains in No Man's Sky is wrong. Mm. So, that's about that. But everyone can use the chat. It's not limited to followers. I do appreciate if you follow me. That will help me out over time. But if you just want to chit chat, the chat is open for everyone. And everyone will get help. You know what, this is one I'm not going to do. I have so far not had much uh, luck with settlements. Um, they have so many times cost me money. So I'm actually going to ignore that. So that's one thing, if you were going to ask why I'm not going there, that's the reason. So what I'm going to do is actually find out where exactly I am. Um, because a couple of times I have actually ended up very close to the coal and uh, some galaxies are just jumped through. Orbital station coordinates received. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I really don't care. Uh, I can see I am in the outer rim. I am very far out, 760,000 roughly light years from the center. So that is absolutely brilliant. That is what I wanted to. So 